Ooh, one of the things that's coming up uh, that I'm kind of excited about is we're doing a, uh, a, um, an anti-venom mini series um, with Zeb Wells, and you're going to see anti-venom um, dealing with Frank Castle. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. It's kind of called New Ways to Live. <laughs> um, we'll see if anyone lives by the end of it. Um, any, any questions about any stuff you guys want to see in Spidey or excited about in Spidey or hi, yes? Um, well, like I've seen like people take up new mantles for like the Vulture or... Oh, but Adrian Tunes is still around. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I cut you off. But is there like anyone for, like taking up the mantle of like a new scorpion or hmm. Yeah, go away. <laughs> there's, there's, there's stuff I can't I can't ruin or spoil. Um but I like all the stuff they're currently doing with Matt Garvey over in Dark Avengers. I think Ben is gonna make sure I jump on it. And oh my god, isn't Brian Reese and Mr. Spider Man series great? Oh yeah. Ooh. Who doesn't love General Wolfram? He's awesome. And the Redeemer. There's a lot of good stuff. Um, and the Charles Pacheco are, oh my god, that was beautiful. Uh, I didn't know the, uh, oh, space on the name. I have not slept in a while. <laughs> it's, it's not Charles Pacheco, it's, um, help me out. Pachala. Pachala. Thank you, Chris Pachala. We did uh, that anti venom story together in Extra, that was a, uh, and Pachala was killing him on Sinister Spider Man. That's not the cover where he's like he's walking over you. He's like, ooh, it's creepy. Hey, uh, any other questions for Spidey stuff? Yes, hi. Uh, you mentioned earlier that um, all the writers uh, like different ages in Spider-Man. Um, it might be a little obvious, but what's your favorite age in Spider-Man? I'm a 70s guy. I'm such a 70s guy. Well, that's when there's a science fiction writer I'm totally on space on the name right now, too. I think it's a um, no, we said um, the golden age of science fiction is 12. I mean, like, when you're 12, everything's awesome. <laughs> you know, have you gone back and tried to watch, I went back and I tried to watch an episode of Night Rider. Oh my god, this is painful. <laughs> I cannot make it through this. But when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I sure hope he's turbo mode this week. <laughs> Super pursuit mode when the it's going on the water. <laughs> But, uh, oh man, but for me, I go back and I read the 70s, uh, Spidey stuff, and it still holds. I mean, I, I love all Spidey, um, but to me, that was, that was fun. I just did a Spider-Man 600 that played off the fact that Aunt May and Doc Ock almost got married. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so you can pretty much tell where my heart is. Um, when, I, when I grew up reading Spidey, um, the guys doing it were uh, Gil Kane and Ross Andrew. And uh, I was also at the same time reading Marvel Tales when I could it. So I was getting all my job to be a senior at the same time, too. So I was, I was getting the triple dose of like the best of the best. Um, do you guys know the story of how I started buying Spider-Man comics? No. Okay, good. So it's new to you. <laughs> you have to do it every time. This is horrible. Um, I, I knew Spider-Man was from the cartoon. Um, but I, and the only comics I'd ever read before that where I had a cousin Meyer, and when he collected comics. The only comics he collected were war comics and horror comics. And since he loved Sergeant Fury, and he liked Jack Kirby, he also collected Fantastic Four. But for him, it was an afterthought. Um, but he would let me read his comics, and I liked the Fantastic Four is the best, the other ones he read. And he started me. My first comics I ever read was the Galactus Trilogy. That's like starting to a crack. <laughs> We're not going to really enjoy it, right? No, here, have the crack. <laughs> and that's how, like, whenever uh, you think about guys the way you first met them. So for me, Reed Richards was always the unshaven guy who's freaking out. <laughs> Watchers are guys who always interfere. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, no, but I, that, that was my only intro. Um, but I loved Spider-Man. You know, because I, you know, I had the toys and I watched the cartoon, but I didn't really click that he was in a comic book too. And um, one day I'm, I'm biking home from elementary school, and I passed the 7-Eleven, and they had a sign on the window that said Spider-Man was coming to the 7-Eleven to find comic books. And I freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, 
got off my bike, I didn't lock it, I ran in. I'm a little Jewish boy who didn't get Santa Claus at Easter party. I totally was buying into this. <laughs> Spider-Man was coming. I, I walked in, I was like, is Spider-Man's going to be here? Like, yeah, this weekend, Spider-Man's coming this weekend. He's going to send comics. I'm like, where do I get the comics? <laughs> and he points to the spinner rack. <laughs> and I've been in that 7-Eleven a dozen times. I never noticed it. And the minute that guy's pointing to it, it was like, the light hit it. And it's like, <laughs> 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 And I, I ran and I saw they cost 25 cents. I had no money to my name. I was a little boy. I waited for my dad to come home from his long commute to work every night. And he, he had this horrible commute. He'd come home and he'd always get tired. He comes right in the door. I'm like, dad, 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 I need 25 cents. I need 25 cents. I need 25 cents. And he, he explained to me what he thought that I was old enough to start an allowance. And then I'd have to do chores and what that would be. And if I, he was going to start me on 25 cents. And why do you need it? And I told him why. And he gave me 25 cents in advance on next week so I could buy two comic books. Ooh. Yeah, and I went there back to 7-Eleven. I made sure that if I bought the comics there, that I could bring them back on Saturday. And they would think I was bringing them back to the store. And I stayed there all day. And I was looking through every comic. I had to have the two perfect Spider-Man comics. And I got a Marvel Tales where he bought Electro, and Marvel came up to the gate where he came up with the base and bought the Griffin. I know the Griffin. <laughs> um, I want to say Marvel Tales set before Enter Electro. Um, and I, I came, I, I got there early. I got there super early on Saturday. And the reason I got there early and camped out was I wanted to see Spider Man swing in. <laughs> <laughs> and I, just, I sat there and I was looking up in the sky in Stockton, California. Just waiting, waiting. And then it dawned on me, I was in suburban California, there were no people buildings. <laughs> <laughs> How is Spider-Man going to get there? <laughs> and this is what part cheesing me for life. <laughs> it was the 70s. Here you have two guys in the 70s, and one of them had access to a Spider-Man costume in the 70s. They were driving around in a pickup truck. <laughs> And the guy in the Spider-Man costume was standing up in the bed of the truck, arms akimbo, on the freeway. So <laughs> <laughs> look at on gas on them. I could see it on the freeway. There's Spider-Man. Are you sons of bitches? And driving in the 70s on the freeway, people walking and cheering. And it comes off the off-ramp, and it comes up for the 7-Eleven. I'm the only one there. <laughs> All for my benefit. This guy jumps out of the, the bed of the truck, this red pickup, lands in the Spider-Man crouch, <laughs> and walks in, like all super hard, just to mess with my little head. <laughs> the whole thing he was doing, like, I'm going to blow this kid's mind. And I, were, I went in there, I just stared at him in awe and wonder. Got him signed by two books. And I just stayed there until I thought, now I'm being rude. <laughs> I'm a little kid, I was like, I, I think I'm, okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> I wrote home. I read both of those comics so many times. They completely fell apart. I don't have them to this day. They, 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 within a couple days, they, like, they went through the washing machine. They were, I, and I knew every line of dialogue. I borrowed my sister's uh, Radio Shack uh, tape recorder, and I did, I reenacted it, read it, and <laughs> tape recorder. So I, <laughs> I was like, oh, that was it. I was, I was purchasing for life. <laughs> it was always fire.